Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Mr. Shenanigans himself and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lehman Shenanigans of 1977, episode 822 of the show. Today is a very special day, and not just an ordinary special day. Today is National Power Ranger Day. And, in National, and this is not your ordinary National Power Ranger Day. This is the 30th anniversary and when Power Rangers first premiered. Back in 1993 on a Saturday morning, on the Fox Network. Power, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers premiered on national television. Haim Saban supposedly trying to capitalize on the popularity of dinosaurs. In this case, with Jurassic Park. So, he decided, well, he'll make his own show. About superheroes. Like my little brother, Tyler, who is now goes by the name Tre uh, Trevor. Watched the show and liked it so much, he wanted to watch it. I watched it along with him. And I thought this was a cool show. A very unique show. They took footage from a, se uh, a Japanese series called Kyuryu, Kyuryu Sentai Z-Ranger. Kyuryu Sentai Z-Ranger. I'm trying to get that right. And put American, uh, American speaking actors. Uh, English speaking actors. American actors. And boom. Instant hit. TV guy compared it. TV guy... Compared it to if Say by the Bell met Voltron. There you go. In fact, their mission, defend the Earth against an intergalactic space sorcerer who had a bad hair day and possibly raided Madonna's closet. Not only that, though, she tried to do whatever. She had minions who all share one brain. It got to the point where she had to, she had, she had to kidnap an Earth, an Earth teenager and try to turn him into a, an evil version of a Power Ranger. But, he ended up turning good after the Ranger saved him from Rita's, from, her, from the, the Sorceress Evil spell. That Sorceress's name, Rita Repulsa. The Ranger she tried to turn, turn evil, Tommy Oliver. Who are the other Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you ask? Well, you got Jason, the Red Ranger. Kimberly, the Pink Ranger, Trini the Yellow Ranger, Zack the Black Ranger, Billy the Blue Ranger, and join them later on, Tommy the Green Ranger. And who knew that this show would take off? In fact, Tommy got so popular when they brought him back for the second season, they turned him to the White Ranger. But after many cast members and 30 years later, it's still going strong today. Under the season of Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. Where the six, where the six Rangers of, of Dino Fury will now have to defend the Earth and the Universe one, against Lord Zed one more time. But they're not doing it alone. They're joined forces by the girlfriend of Izzy Garcia, Fern. And the returning Blue Ranger, David Yost as Billy. That's right. Billy the Blue Ranger will make his return for the 30th season. However, in honor of the Power Rangers celebrating 30 years in on, 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 on TV and on screens and everything else, I have decided that this is the toughest list. I'm going to try to make some top 10, top 15, like, you know, you know, top 10 list, top 15 lists, or top 20. It all depends. I made my first top 10 list for the Power Rangers. This is going to be the, this is the toughest list I've ever, ever had to make. As you know, y'all know I'm a red-blooded American male. There's no doubt about it. That means we red-blooded males have crushes on beautiful women. Over the 30 years of Power Rangers, there's been many beautiful ladies that decide to don the spandex and defend the Earth with their kick-butt moves. It is tough for me to find my top 10, personal top 10 Power Ranger crushes. That's right. 
It's the toughest list I ever had to make. After watching Power Rangers over the years. And believe me. It is the toughest list ever I had to make. So much so, I think when I get this list out, y'all gotta think I'm crazy making some certain omissions. And so, this was a tough list. How tough was this list? You know? I will mention the honorable mentions after I name my top 10, my personal top 10 Power Ranger crushes. I have the list right here. I did the actress's name and the character she played. All right, let's start at number 10. Alicia Peratt, who played Sid, the SPD Pink Ranger. Now, I look at her, and she kind of reminds me of a cross between um, Trish Stratus and Pamela Anderson a little bit. Found out that the lady is Canadian herself. Well, no, right? So, so that... But she, uh, she was... I think she was, she was play, trying to play... Uh, you know, a singer, a, a sort of, um, like an, asp an aspiring singer until SPD happened. So, and was chosen by Doggy Kruger to become, hello, mom, mom's home. So, Doggy Kruger, the Pink Ranger, Pink Ranger, uh, Doggy Kruger, the Shadow Ranger later on. All right, number nine, Christy Ann as Sarah from Ninja Steel also played the Pink Ranger, you know, and I look at Sarah, and I look at Christiane. She, rem uh, I, I think she's, um, I think she's from Brazil, originally from Brazil, but, but she reminds me of Lana, C.J. Perry, a little bit, the looks, but also her character is very smart, and very wise. And sometimes, you know, sometimes her inventions go go crazy, a little bit crazy sometimes, but she's very very smart. Um, number five, Jessica Ray, who played Alyssa, the White Wild Force Ranger. She's very sweet. And I, and I like, you know, she's very smart and very sweet. And she had a caring heart. And she had a very, uh, uh, a, a, um, a very caring heart. And just a very, very sweet person, um, Alyssa was. And, um, you know, always helping out Cole whenever I think uh, she's more the nurturer of the team in Wild Force. Number seven, this was a tough, you know, this is a tough one because I know she has been gone for 22 years and w we do miss her. Twee Trang, God rest her soul, as Trini, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Just like Alyssa, very s sweet, very nice. And she's the only person that can understand, Bi and Trini's character, she's the only person that can understand Billy and what he, what he says. You know, sometimes, you know, Billy will say something and... Either Jason Trini or Zach go say what, <laughs> say what, and then Trini will chime in with something. If only she was alive. If only Tweet Train was alive today, they would, and they would have, you know, she would have played a huge role in Power Rangers. That's for sure. Number six, Erica Fung is Mia in Samurai. Beautiful young lady, um, Erica Fung was, and uh, still is, I think. Um, Beautiful young, beautiful young lady. Uh, more, more like the caring part. But the funny part is that she can't cook for a hell. Mia, uh, her character Mia, she cannot cook for a hell of beans. And the other some of her rangers let her know about it until Antonio came around. So, because Antonio knows how to catch fish and cook. <laughs> Especially she get. I remember she goes, "I'm gonna learn how to go to cooking school." He goes, "Thank God." And no comments. So, well, that was hilarious though. At the, uh, at the end of Samurai there. Super Samurai. All right. Number five, Tracy Lynn Cruz is Ashley. Uh, and Ashley and C Tracy Lynn still looking beautiful today. You know, starts as a cheerleader and then, but she knows what, and she, she knows, the, um, she knows what's right. And that's really, really super cool. And, um, I gotta tell you, uh, I, and I gotta tell you, you know, she, you know, she, uh, her character fell in love with Andros and in space, and, you know, and she's still looking gorgeous today, Tracy Lynn Cruz. Uh, number four, Patricia Jolly, or PJ Lee, as she was credited in uh, Super Mega Force, as Cassie, uh, the Pink Ranger. Um, Cassie, um, Cassie Chan, her character was a singer, was playing guitar, you know, and she, and she's, and she's gorgeous. She came back 
as the in space pink ranger for super mega force and still she still looks gorgeous today and just you know and had a few lines in that one which i think was super cool so <clears throat> so that's number four number three anna hutchinson uh, hutchinson as lily in jungle fury in real life, Anna is a is actress from New Zealand. She's got quite the accent, you know. Kind of like her, so uh, she, Lily, is very, very pretty. So that's number three. Uh, number three, Anna Hutchinson. Number three, number two, the new, the new, new kid on the block, shall, shall we say, um, the uh, the very beautiful Hunter Denno, who played um, Amelia from uh, Dino and Cosmic Fury. And she will be making history as to become the first female Red Ranger in the Power Rangers series um, as, as a regular cast member. You know, because you had, um, you know, I will, because uh, you, you had one of my honorable mentions will be Kimberly Crossman, who played Lauren um, in Samurai, slash Super Samurai. And uh, <clears throat> so I found out she's Australian, too. And number my number one, I'll get to my honorable mentions. And my number one Power Ranger crush, my personal Power Ranger crush, Serena Vincent as Maya in Lost Galaxy. <laughs> a gorgeous, sexy jungle girl as a Power Ranger. You can't beat that. And Serena Vincent was so gorgeous, still looking gorgeous today. <sighs> so now you may be thinking, Eric. You left out the every guy's 90 crush on this list. Amy Jo Johnson is Kimberly. Yes, she's my honorable mention. And, uh, you know, if it was the top 15, she'd be right up there. So, if I had a top 15, Kim, um, Amy Jo Johnson would be number 11 in this case. Uh, another uh, lady that should, uh, has left, I left off the list, Catherine Sutherland as Catherine. Yeah. She got the accent, Australian accent. Come on, you know me, man. I think women with accents is just totally a knockout. That's number. Uh, that'll be number twelve. Number thirteen. I'm going to have to say Kimberly Crossman is Lauren. Very beautiful. Like I guess I mentioned her. Um, number fourteen, Claire Blackwelder as Kendall the Pink uh, not the Pink Ranger, the Purple Ranger in Dino Charge. Miss Kendall Morgan. And when she dressed as Cupid, oh, Lord, have freaking mercy. All right. And my fifth honorable mention will have to go to, and I'm trying to make a mental note. I'm trying, um, I'm going to say, uh, oh, Ciara Hanna, who played Gia in Mega Force and Super Mega Force. Tough and strong, and has a heart. That is my. Uh, that will be my top ten Power Ranger crushes. Who are your uh, Power Ranger crushes? You know, top ten men for, uh, top ten female or 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 male, if you um, for you ladies out there. So uh, just let, um, let me know who you or even who you like. You know, or who you like the most. This was a tough list that I had to make. It wasn't easy to make this list, you know. And I would have gone one per one actress per season. I would have done that, and it would have been crazy. So that will be uh, <laughs> that's the toughest list I had to make. Toughest list. Well, that's all the time we have on this show. Uh, that it'll be it. It'll be it for today. Until I got. I'll do another list tomorrow. Probably the top ten favorite um, male Power Rangers. My favorite, you know, like Power Rangers would be my brothers who got my back, you know, all, all that good stuff, you know. My top, um, my top ten favorite male Power Rangers. So, who I like and why, you know, who are my favorite and why, you know. So that would be uh, that'll be my next list. All right. So until the next episode comes rolling around, Mister Announcer. Take us home and check it. Um, go to Mr. Garrison 96 channel and check out both of us on the sofas at 5. All right, it will be coming up next soon. So take us home, Mr. Announcer. 
That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production. And in association with a sweet bowl for raving dingleberries, telepictures, and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now.